Welcome back, everyone. Okay, Scorpio, when I did your yearly, the card for this month, June, was the Ten of Pentacles. So you're either going for the big money or it's on your mind, okay? You want financial security. You want to be able to care for yourself, others in your family, have a great house, great clothes, look after the animals, the whole deal. Uh, you're heading towards this, okay? Very, very good card, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so we're going to have a look at your abundance off the back of that. So, Great Spirit, what advice have you got for the star sign of Scorpio for June? It comes to their abundance, please. <clears throat> okay. Successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of, of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships and other investments are available to help you. So yes, if you've got a really good idea to make that money, it looks like the universe is lining up for you to give you that successful funding. Um, have a look out there and see what uh, funding might be available for you if you're starting a business or something like that. Um, if you're investing in something, uh, shop around, all that sort of thing, but it looks like uh, your funding is going to be coming through. All right, we're also going to have a look at your health here. So any guidance, please, for the star sign of Scorpio for the month of June when it comes to their health? Any guidance? Yes, it looks like you've got your eye on the prize at the moment, Scorpio. All right, and the card is recovery. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for holding my hand throughout my recovery upon my path of radiant health. Yes, so this could be physical health, could this could also be financial health. So you could be bringing yourself back from a financial situation where you weren't very comfortable. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is extreme comfort when it comes to finances. You're not worried about your finances anymore. So it looks like you're, in, you're going back to a place of um, financial stability here or it's very much on your mind this month. All right, and we're also going to have a look at the Power Thought from Louise Hay and see what the underlying thought is about this for you. The power of thought, please. Thank you. Okay. As I say yes to life, life says yes to me. Yes. It's all a big yes for you this month, isn't it? Life mirrors my every thought. As I keep my thoughts positive, life brings me only good experiences. Yes, yeah, so it may, not, it may be a time not to dwell on any negativity from the past. Um, the law of uh, the universe basically says what we focus our energy on, our thoughts we um, bring into manifestation. So make sure you're trying to keep your thoughts as positive as you possibly can, particularly around your finances, and you'll start to see that your finances start to, to roll in and sort themselves out, okay? All right, so we'll get into the tarot. All right, clarification, please, on the Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio for June. Okay, so you've put your seeds in the ground and now you're patiently waiting for the returns. Uh, it looks like it's uh, been quite a fruitful crop. You've got a lot of um, fruit on this vine here and you're just waiting patiently, standing here waiting, watching it grow. Now, you might have made an investment and you're just hoping it'll grow, but it looks like it's going to. Um, even though he's sort of standing on a, a gardening tool, it's sort of like the wand too. So he's got this passionate idea and he's standing back and he's just waiting for this money to come in, okay? 
Um, the emperor is looking at this, so maybe this is a um, Aries you're dealing with, or it could be yourself. You want to be the emperor on your throne. You want to be secure and in control this situation. So yes, you can sort of see the look on his face here. He's looking at the money growing, okay, and um, steadfastly waiting. So it looks like you're waiting, waiting for funding, waiting for money. It's coming. Okay, yes, Wheel of Fortune. There's inevitable upturn in finances coming your way this month. Yes, you are dealing with a female um, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you wish to be self-sufficient. You wish to be an individual that has their money in control, their house looking beautiful, clothes on, the t on, on your back that are gorgeous, beautiful food, uh, bounty in the garden, flowers, fruit on the trees. Yes, you, you want a counterpart as well, but it does look like these two individuals are looking opposite directions here. Maybe you're, if you're in a partnership, you're both focusing on your finances individually here, or maybe you're having issues um, working with your finances with your partner, but I'll, I'll keep on going. Yeah, well, the Queen of Swords, she's willing to cut out anything. You've got the two queens underneath each other here. Um, the Queen of Swords is, is willing to cut out any rubbish. So it looks like you've got that idea, you're, you're standing in your power. You've got that sort of truth in your hand here. Uh, you're not putting up with anything that's substandard. You, you're going for the Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, so there'll be an inevitable transformation. It looks like your old ways of dealing with um, finances are leaving you and you're moving into a brand new dawn. Uh, you could be a little bit confused at the moment because you're steadily waiting for your finances to come in. You might have lots of financial offers going here and you're deciding uh, which way to go. You might need strength to decide which one to choose, but it's going to lead to ultimate happiness here. Okay, so you've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So it looks like you guys want that complete package. All right, uh, you, you're willing to move really quickly um, to do this. You're going to have your hands on the reins. You're even willing to move over land to do so. So even if you have to move to get a job, it looks like you guys are willing to do that. You're also balancing yourself. So you're balancing your emotions as well when it comes to this. So it looks like you're coming from a, a really um, higher place when you're thinking about this. Less emotions, more practicality. Yes. So you want the big financial start here. You're willing to defend off anyone that might be questioning your idea here. You know what you're going for and you've got your eye on the prize. There will be inevitable change. Could come fast. This could be you actually winning money or it could be you in a situation where you're suddenly finding yourself in a financial situation where things didn't turn out the way they are that you'd like. And you're like, right, wait a second. I had my eye on the prize. I wanted the Ten of um, Pentacles. I wanted the Ten of Cups. Now's the time to build up from scratch. I'm willing to do the hard work, put my head on the shoulders and do so. Okay. Are uh, you willing to move away from any troubles that you might have had in the past, any negative thoughts? And you want balance in this situation. You want balance, you want justice, you want things to be equal, you want things to be um, have reciprocity here, you want your partner to be earning as much as you, you want your partner to be contributing to the family. Uh, if this is not happening, it's affecting your Ten of Pentacles and your Ten of Cups. Um, uh, you can't, there's nothing you can do to help somebody else get themselves sorted financially. You can give them advice, but um, you can also lead by example of showing how you're getting things sorted. Uh, you're moving away from troubles here. It's going to be quick communication come in uh, about juggling which way to go with your finances. So you might be um, have two, as I said, there looks like many financial options here, um, but you're very passionate about it. And there you go. Look, you're very passionate about it and look, it's going to eventually lead to the Ten of Pentacles here. So keep on going, Scorpio. You're doing really well. Balance yourself out. Get those finances in order and it looks like um, with your head on your shoulders, you're going to be able to achieve it. So congratulations. Uh, this was a very financial reading. So I am going to have a look at the love blocks that might be affecting this situation. It does look like a partnership here. All right.
right. Are there any love blocks for the star sign of Scorpio, please? Any love blocks, please, the star sign of Scorpio? Yeah. That one wanted to come as well. They both popped out. Okay, we'll go with the first one. So any love blocks here? Visualize. Be clear about what you want. Okay, so just envision yourself and your heart, your partner there sitting in that beautiful house with all the worldly goods around you, everybody taken care of. So envisualize a perfect outcome here. Make sure you're not focusing on lack or loss. Make sure you're focusing on that great prize, okay? Because if you do, it's yours. All right, envision yourself really happy in your relationship here. All right, and forgive. Forgiveness will free your heart. Now, forgive. Now, this might be forgiving yourself for how you've acted, forgiving yourself for um, past and discrepancies. Um, it's also it can be seen as forgiving others, but forgiving others isn't necessarily condoning their behaviour if you've had a really bad situation happen in the past. Um, it is um, it, basically releasing yourself from the burden of that pain. Okay, there's nothing we can do about the past, or we, or anything we can do about the past is how, is how we, um, perceive it, how we relate to it. So, uh, it might be time to start to lighten your load, your heart, and forgive yourself and others. Uh, start afresh, and it looks like if you do so, um, it looks like, um, financial, um, security and emotional security will be your Scorpio. You can see the Ten of Cups, that's a water cup anyway that's what Scorpio wants anyway this ten of cups this happiness this happy home children playing everybody sorted so yes it looks like you're stubbornly determined to get to that and it looks like you're going to be heading really close to that in this this month so congratulations Scorpio so yes if you'd like to like subscribe and hit that bell button if you want to get informed of any new videos I post and bye for now